Hi, this is going to be my formal review of the Keyport slide. I just got it today. Um, one of the first things I noticed about this is it's actually very light. Now, I only have one keyblade in it, but I'm guessing even with it full, it's a lot lighter than I expected it to be, which is a huge positive. Um, this is the gunmetal color. It's more black than anything, really. Maybe a hint of brown in there, you can see. Um, these blades, they slide very, very smoothly. Um, they're locked in, so you got to push down on the node, and then they slide up, and then they lock out, which is nice, because I was worried that I was going to stick my key in the door, and it would get pushed in like that, but um, it's not. Um, the, the metal they use is really thin. Um, uh, I don't think this would withstand getting like ran over by a car or anything, but it could definitely take being stepped on. Um, comes with this little lanyard. Uh, now there's a plastic piece in the end here. Um, one complaint I had that was uh, that it's kind of difficult to get back on. You have to push these two sides together like so, um, and then you just got to finagle it back on. And now I have the LED light accessory for this, which is awesome, because um, I can't think of how many times I would need a light when I'm trying to find out where my key's supposed to go. See, isn't that perfect? Um, overall, I'm really happy with this so far. I haven't even used it, but it's something I was really excited about. I'm sure I won't be disappointed. The the one another concern I had was since I'm going to be using this in my Jeep now my Jeep the car key let's see if I can show you. Okay, here we go. The you can see the sort of triangular shape the head of the key takes. Well, there's actually a plastic shroud that fits around the head of the key up to about where my finger is and I'm wondering if that's not actually this uh, key port is going to interfere with that at all. Um, if so, I'll either have to modify the shroud or maybe move the key up to the very end node where it won't interfere. Um, but other than that, I'm really satisfied with this. I was really excited when it came today. Um, my final review, awesome product, really expensive, worth it in the long run. And I say worth it in the long run because you use your keys every day. You use your keys just as much as you use your cell phone, just as much as you use your computer. And the keys have been basically the same thing for the past hundred years. It's about time we move on past that keychain. Maybe, you know, it'll get to the point where everybody carries one of these and they'll get cheaper. But as of right now, if you want to get one of these, it's going to cost you $100. See, there's a lot of hidden costs. First off, the unit itself is 40 bucks. Then, if you want six nodes, that's another 30 bucks. So you're at 70 bucks already. And then you got to take them to your local locksmith and pay between two and five dollars a piece to have each of these nodes cut. So after all that's said and done, add shipping in, you're about 100 bucks. So you know that's a little, little pricey if you ask me, just to hold your keys around. But hey, this sure beats the hell out of this. End of story. So that's what I think about the new keyboard slide.